the retro appearance became the key to its popularity. The Fiat 500 was an exception in this regard, not all models created to commemorate a retro car were successful. Demand for the new Fiat 500 was enormous. People were ready to wait for eight months, the queues stretched for a very long time. To mitigate the plight of customers, Fiat increased production in the Polish city of Tiki from 120,000 to 190,000 units per year. The same plant also produced a clone of the Cinquecento, the second-generation Ford Ka. Today, Fiat 500 fans can choose not only from new but also from used cars. In Belarus, the supply for this model is very small, the minimum cost of a two-door city hatchback is S7000. We will look at the strengths and weaknesses of this car using the Fiat 500C as an example. An experimental example in a convertible version in an expensive lounge configuration with a leather interior, electric roof curtain, alloy wheels, and air conditioning. A bonus is the dull chrome of the body decor and the absence of some keys in the cabin. The owner of a Fiat 500 needs to be prepared for frequent and annoying breakdowns. The mufflers of this model quickly rust to holes, the brake discs wear out quickly, oil leaks through all the seals and in the worst case, engine failure is possible. The list of typical problems is very long. We know about all this firsthand. The editorial office lists the Fiat 500, Luigi, which has already run 238,000 kilometers. At first we loved him with all our souls, and then we could not believe the cruel disappointment. He loved and still loves breakdowns and unscheduled visits to the service station more than us. The history of all his problems barely fits into the logbook notebook. Unfortunately, all expectations about the Fiat 500 are destroyed by its poor build quality and poor reliability. A cheerful interior does not stand the test of time. Handling is also far from ideal, the Mini drives many times more recklessly and more fun. The Fiat 500 is capable of simply driving in directions, nothing more. Most buyers chose the Fiat 500 with a 1.2-liter engine producing 69 horsepower. His strength is not enough, only enough for leisurely movement along with the city traffic. In a word, the bright and attractive appearance of the Fiat 500 hides a lot of shortcomings. The truth turned out to be bitter. Fans see it as the fruit of the labors of a talented designer. In fact, the Fiat 500 is built on the basis of the affordable Panda, most of the components and assemblies are borrowed from it. But while the Panda is more or less reliable, the Fiat 500 has its fair share of shortcomings. Problems with electronics or the starter can cause a tow truck to be called because the engine simply won't start. Interior parts creak and fall off. TUV experts are always happy to talk about its many problems. Most often, the Fiat 500 is sent for revision due to wear of the brake discs and oil leaks from the units.